Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out selection. His name's Soap. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. You know the drill. Go to station one and aim your rifle downrange. Lovely. Now, shoot at the targets while firing from the hip. Now, aim your rifle downrange. Now, shoot each target while aiming down the sights. Now, I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will penetrate thin, weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. I want you to shoot the targets through the wood. Good. Now I'm going to make the targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. Drop a good job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. Good. Now switch to your rifle. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Nice! Your fruit-killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. Time for some fun with demolitions, mate. Pick up those frag grenades and get in the safety pit. Get in the safety pit, so. Now throw a grenade into windows two, three, and four. Come back here. Pick up this grenade launcher. Now get back into the safety pit. Equip the grenade launcher. Fire at the wall with the number one on it. Notice it didn't explode. As you know, all grenade launchers have a minimum safe arming distance. Right, now pop a grenade into windows five, six, and seven. Come back around and pick up some C4 off the table. Equip the C4, so. Follow me. It seems my ex-wife was kind enough to donate her car to furthering your education, so. Place the C4 on the indicated spot. Now get a safe distance from the explosives. Fire in the hole! Much improved. All right, Soap, you pass the weapons evaluation. Well, it seems Miss Soap here was kind enough to join us. Line up, ladies. Go. This isn't a bloody charity walk. Get your asses in gear. Move. Jump over those obstacles. You crawl like old people. 
Critical screw. I've seen Sandhurst commandos move faster than you like. Move, move, move! What's the matter with you? You all want to be RTU? Oi, so, Captain Price wants to see you in Hangar 1. You passed my little test. Now get out of my sight. The rest of you bloody bonces are going to run it again until I'm no longer embarrassed to look at you. It's the FNG, sir. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? Soap, it's your turn for the CQB test. Everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 60 seconds. Gaz holds the current squadron record at 19 seconds. Good luck. Climb the ladder over there. Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush to position one. After that, you will storm down the stairs to position two. Then hit position three and four, following my precise instructions at each position. Grab the rope when you're ready. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the target! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flashbang through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Sprint to the finish! All right, Soap, that's enough. You'll do. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. Gentlemen, the cargo ship mission is a go. Get yourselves sorted out. Wheels up at 0200. Dismissed. <laughs>